Some people have a unique viewpoint of the world. Others, it seems, have lived a thousand lives in one. However, there are some who have both characteristics. This is the case of French photographer Henri Cartier-Bresson, one of the great masters of this art form. With his camera, he always managed to capture images of what was happening, and these accurately represented reality. For example, the last days of World War II in Nazi Germany were coming to a close. On the other side of the world, there was Gandhi's funeral in India, life in Russia after Stalin, the growing consumerism in post-war Europe, and the coronation of George VI of England. Cartier-Bresson seemed to be everywhere, witnessing history before his very eyes. And now, this exhibit at Rome's Arapaches collects over 500 works. He was a master at capturing snapshots of everyday life, and thanks to his earlier training in painting, he always sought the perfect setting, even under imperfect circumstances. He studied extensively under Cubist painter André Lotte. He taught him how to see, how to break down solids and reality, and also how to look at space as a group of forces that interact, and it's something that can be seen in his photography. The photographic genius was almost 100 years old when he passed away. He spent more than 70 years capturing reality, starting off with his first trip to the Ivory Coast at the age of 23. And so thousands of hours of work and the moments he caught on film have contributed to his place in history under the nickname, the Eye of the Century.